Welcome to The Right Gun. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we are going to take a look at Raymond Reddington's favorite sidearm, the Browning High Power. But first, if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Help me grow this channel. This was John Browning's last design. He died while engineering this in Belgium, but it does have a story history and a story career, and people really speak about this gun in reverence. This High Power is a bit newer model. It was made in Belgium, but assembled in Portugal. Some believe that the assembled in Portugal are a little inferior. I personally own a full Belgian one, and I shot these side by side. I could not tell a difference. The one I own is a bit of an older model, and it does not have the ambidextrous safety that you see here. Talking a bit about ergonomics, the thin wall design of the magazine allows the grip to remain thin while getting 13 rounds in there, and really comfortable to use for all hand sizes. Alright, we've done enough talking. Let's go and shoot this thing.